Transferring a single gene from a spider to a goat is one thing. But what if we had power over the entire genetic code of a life form? Very recently, we created that power. And it's raised key questions about how far we should take it. To really get a grip on where this field is at, we don't have to go back very far. In just 2010, a team of scientists created something that, that generated shock and awe in the press, but left the rest of the world not really quite sure what to make of it all. A familiar but powerful term was used to describe it, playing God. After 15 years and $40 million of research, Dr. Craig Venter had created something unique. A completely synthetic life form that was nicknamed Cynthia. But who or what was Cynthia? So this is it, Cynthia. Or to give it its proper name, Mycoplasma mycoides JCVI sin-1.0. It's the very simplest of bacterial cells, really not much to look at. But what's truly impressive about this is the fact that Cynthia was not born from another bacteria. This is the only life form on Earth whose parent is a computer. By moving the software of DNA around, we can change things dramatically. To make Cynthia, Craig Venter took a simple cell. And he took all of its DNA code and he plugged that into a computer. Once the code is in a computer, it's effectively DNA software. Next, he extracted the DNA from a similar cell, discarded it, and went back to the DNA software he'd created. And then came the really clever bit. Venter synthesized all of that DNA just like printing it out. Now he had a physical version of that DNA software ready to be inserted into the empty cell. And with a spark, he booted it up, just like powering up a computer. Except, by any definition, this thing was now a living organism. Had Craig Venter created life? Not really. But he had recreated it, and in a sense, rebooted it. Cynthia may have been something quite simple, a fairly straightforward bacteria, but after you've set aside all of the hype, the fact remains that Venter had done something that has never been achieved in four billion years of life on Earth. He'd made an organism whose parent was a computer, and that, more than anything else, demonstrated an unprecedented degree of control over a living thing. This blurring of the boundaries between computer code and biology has fueled a whole new field of science. 